we are called upon to be discoverers and to be on a journey, explorers. We are called upon to fulfill the lineage, fulfill the evolution. So we have our own work to do. But it's different when we own and embrace the power of our lineage and are proudly an expression of that lineage now, that is different. When we accept the victory of those who went before, those who knew, those who served, those who lit up the world, no, I'm I'm part of that. I embrace that lineage. There's plenty of lineage of Domination, subject, subjecting other people to some kind of unhealthy dominance. There's plenty of oppression, a lineage of oppression. That's not mine to embrace. It might be somebody else's, but it's not mine. I'm here to embrace the freedom known by people who knew. I believe we are on a magical journey that is taking us to places that we could hardly imagine. Hardly imagine. That what we have in store is a total transformation, a transmutation of the human experience. And with that, a transmutation of our flesh as humankind. I know that spirit in action in the human experience transforms the human experience, all of it, including the physical. I bet we've all had some experience of that. It's vivid to me. We can allow the power of the spiritual to move through us, the power of the lineage. And for a moment, contemplate the possibility that there's nothing you have to do to make that happen other than to accept the evolutionary urge within yourself and the power that is in your lineage that is right there for you to embrace and the victory of every person over the ages who's had a victory. Embrace that victory, be that victory, declare that victory in your life, share it. You don't have to make that victory. Become a, make a success out of yourself, improve yourself. No, embrace the victory, be the victory. Know the victory, share the victory. Share the light. Jesus' prophecy was, and ye shall know the truth. Ye shall know the truth. And he didn't say, um, you shall know my teachings, you shall know the Bible. Of course, the New Testament wasn't written yet, but he didn't say this set of uh, beliefs or this dogma or this doctrine. He didn't say that. He said, and ye shall know the truth without restriction, without limitation, not this truth or that truth, no, the truth, and ye shall know the truth, and that knowledge shall make you free. And later the disciple John said that um, the tabernacle of God is with men, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be their God. What is being said there? What is being said there? Why is that little word himself in there? Why is that? Why didn't he just say, and God shall be their God? He could have said that. However it was in Greek, I presume. He said, and God himself. Not the idea of God, not not the God of belief, not the God of religion, not God the icon. No, God 
himself. That's a state of knowing. That's a state of knowing, a state of knowledge, a state of oneness that he was foretelling. Well, we live in the day of fulfilling exactly that, of knowing exactly that. Earlier this morning, I said, um, you know, I've never considered myself a Christian. I grew up in a Unitarian church. We never talked about being Christians. But I am a Christian in the sense that I proudly embrace the teaching, the life, the truth that was brought by Jesus of Nazareth. I embrace that lineage, discarding all that's untrue and distorted, all the superstition that crept in, all the divergent teaching that came in as the apostles and those with them tried to make what Jesus brought acceptable to the Greco-Roman world. I've been studying it recently, and it's, it's remarkable what <laughs> they got up to. Now, despite all that, I discard all that. I go back to the heart and soul and teaching of the man who knew the truth and taught no knowledge of the truth. Well, this feels like a, where we need to come to today. So I want to do something a little churchy. Um, do you hear it today? Yes. <laughs> do you know it for yourself today? Amen. Are you are you believing in this today? Yes. Do you have faith in yourself to live this in your life? Yes. Do you? Do you have faith in us as a community of people yeah. to know and realize this and fulfill it together as a beloved community? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.